Hello. Have you ever heard somebody say that their most important asset is their people, but they don't really even understand who's on their current team? Especially these days, I think it's absolutely critical uh, to know the makeup of your current team and how your hiring process are going, because it can be so hard to bring in new talent. What I want to show you is a Tableau dashboard that's going to help you understand your current headcount and team members amongst your different departments. Uh, show you who's been coming into your business and who's been leaving, um, and then be able to see some other long-term trends uh, that you can use to better, both better understand your current team structure, um, and then ideally uh, increase your efficiency on recruiting and bringing new team members in into the future. All right, so here's our dashboard. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, on top, uh, this first row is just going to show us some of the, the main statistics we have. And in this case, this is looking at averages uh, since the beginning of the year. So we have a few different months uh, averaged together. This is showing that our current current team it make, is made up of 33 people. Um, the average tenure is 2.8 years. Right now, 45% of our team are women, 31% are people of color. Over this time, we've had eight open positions since the beginning of the year. Um, that's showing that on average each month, 6% of our total positions have been in the open status. So we've been recruiting somebody to fill a planned position. During this period, we've had eight people that are brand new to our team and then two that have left the company. Okay, so, so this next row is going to show us some um, high level trending for some of these metrics over time. So first is this total headcount. So now we're looking since the beginning of last year. Um, and it's showing that we've grown our team uh, from 28 uh, up to 35 now, uh, which is showing for April of 23. It's bounced around a little bit, uh, and we've recently been in a period since January. We've been trying to add new staff as we're expecting some growth in the future. So this is showing we've added uh, in a net of six people to our team so far since the start of the year. Our average tenure, so number of years that people have worked for us, has bounced around a little bit. Um, in total, we've stayed pretty flat at just under three years. Uh, that's That's gone up to a high of 3.2 and a low of 2.6. But in general, we stay pretty flat, uh, just a little bit under three years of tenure. Employee churn, okay, so here's um, a little bit more advanced view. And what that's just gonna show is for each month, how many people were added to our company, in this case two in April, and one left. So if it's above the line, it's gonna show an add. If it's below, somebody left. So added two, subtracted one, so we had a net change of one person in uh, April. And then this is gonna be how many positions did we have open at any point in time. Okay, so now we're gonna look at each of those same statistics, but we're gonna break it down into our different departments. So this brewery has four different departments. We have who's in production, service. In this case, this basically means the tap room or people, people directly taking care of customers. We have a small sales and marketing group and then other, which is admin and, and just some others, other people that didn't fit some of these different categories. Uh, we can see the production group is our largest currently at about 13 people. And then we can show what that trend has been over time. And, and like a lot of these sections, we've recently been trying to add people. When we look at our tenure, uh, now we're seeing a little bit of differentiation by department. So this is showing that people in our other category have actually been with us the longest on average, almost five years. And then in our service area, uh, the, so those serving customers in our tap room, it's only 1.7 years. That may be a concern and something we'd, we'd like to try to keep people on a little bit longer. So we're not cur currently or constantly bringing in people that we have to get trained up, especially because those people are really the face of our business uh, directly to our customers. And we have seen that tenure increase a little bit over time. Uh, the low was one year uh, on average. Um, so now we're up to uh, closer to 1.7. So we've done a better job at hanging on to the people that have been with us a little while. Uh, then we have our churn by department. So we can see which ones we've had a lot of turnover. 
um, and which ones have been fewer. And then finally, our open, um, open positions by department. So I've already called out several highlights as we've kind of walked through this dashboard. Um, I'll just show a few more um, and how they kind of interact and coincide with each other. So I mentioned earlier that we, we purposefully are trying to add people since we started in January. And we can then see how our open positions have changed. So in January, we had five, then it was down to two. Uh, and now down to just one open position. Uh, so we've done a good job bringing people in uh, once we identified that we did want to add people. And we saw how that's impacted each of our different departments, everything except for sales and marketing, but all the other ones we've uh, added, been adding people to recently. Already talked about some of the tenure stuff, so I won't go through that again. Um, one thing that would be something to watch is we are adding a, and subtracting a decent amount of people um, from both our production and service areas. It'd be good to understand, uh, especially the people that are leaving our business, unless we want them to leave. But for those we don't wanna leave, it would be good to understand what's driving that. And then maybe we can put something in place to keep them on a little bit longer into the future. And then uh, we're looking at open by department. So probably not a big surprise because production has had the most of our employee churn um, and because we wanted to add several spots there, we've seen um, the most open spots uh, in the production area. So just to recap that dashboard, first we looked at what our recent headcount has been, how many open positions have we had, how has that changed over time. We're able to see the volume of new people we're adding and also people we're subtracting. So I think that can have a big, uh, a big impact on your business. So even though your total headcount might be relatively flat, if you kind of have this constant churn of people leaving the company and then needing to bring new people in, that can introduce quite a bit of disruption. So I think it's important to understand that in addition to looking at your total headcount. We saw how each of our different departments are a little bit different. Uh, some we have more experienced people than others. Uh, some departments we've had more of that churn than others. So it'd be good to see what's going on with each of those. And, and if we need to implement anything, maybe to reduce some of that churn. And then finally, we were able to see how diverse our team is also. So I hope that was a good look at how Tableau can help you understand uh, the makeup of your current headcount and how it's been trending over time. If you have any questions with that, or if you'd like to see some of your own uh, headcount or personnel data loaded in uh, to a dashboard like this, so you can get some of these same insights, please contact me. My email is jeremy at centralcoast-analytics.com. And again, that email was jeremy at centralcoast-analytics.com. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.